What y'all filming for? I'm just making a video. What are you filming? What are you filming? Please don't tell me these guys called the cops on a couple of guys taking pictures of cars. Well, see, that's, that's, uh... How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press. We are coming to you today from a Mercedes-Benz dealership in Lafayette, Louisiana, which coincidentally enough is named Mercedes-Benz of Lafayette. Uh, we're just gonna pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with watching the Watchmen today. Let me give you a little view of the neighborhood here. And uh, while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Wednesday, October 13th. It is 5.01 in the afternoon. And the temperature here today is 86 degrees. It is sunny and beautiful in uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. A little humid, but uh, pretty nice out. Sorry? What are y'all doing? Are y'all filming? I can't hear you because the job. Y'all filming? Am I filming? Yeah. Yeah, what y'all filming for? I'm just making a video. Okay. Any about? Just sorry? about? About? Yeah. No, well, that's a whole long story. We'd have to sit down and talk about that. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. cool. I got time. Yeah. I mean, it's just in particular for us or just everything? Like I said, I really can't discuss it. Okay. All right. Who are you working? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who are you? Yeah. No, I said, who are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I work over here. Okay. So, uh, oh, well, yeah, we have to go into long discussion also. So. Uh, okay, have a good day. All right. Yep. Yeah, and some of you might uh, be wondering why I didn't give that guy more information, explain what we were doing. Uh, and you got to remember, you're watching an auditing channel. The whole purpose of what we do uh, is to express our rights and exercise our right to be out taking video and photographs in public without the need to explain ourselves to anybody. If we want to do that, that's great. Um, but that's not, a, uh, that's not an automatic by any stretch of the imagination. So, uh, you know, we may eventually explain ourselves to someone, but uh, just got here two minutes before that guy walked out, so that just wasn't the right time. So, uh, We'll see how it goes, stay tuned. You hear a lot of stories about these uh, law enforcement guys down south. Yeah. Be interesting to see how it goes. Sorry? I said, what you doing, filming? Yes, ma'am. What are you filming? Some of the cars, Mercedes. Oh. We're into cars. There's no Mercedes, haven't you seen? In they, here? There's a couple. Well, yeah, it's rough, but you have a good day. You too. Thank you. So, what are you thinking there, Watchman? Where do you think? Want to walk down to the Audi dealer? Yeah, might as well. Audi Lafayette. Hey guys. What are you filming? 
are you filming? I'm in the middle of shooting a video. Okay, for? That's all I'm really gonna say. Okay. All right, have a good night. Yep, okay. So have the uh, service drive through here. Empty showroom except for one car. It really is amazing how low uh, dealerships inventories are. And then when you can finally find what you want, boy, are they charging a premium. How are we doing? Y'all good? Yes, sir. All right, I just Thank to make you. sure I wasn't your way. No, no, not at all. Thank you. That's strange how that blocks the sidewalk. What's that? That's strange how the gate blocks the sidewalk. Yeah. You know, if like somebody was coming down the sidewalk in a wheelchair or something. You're right, I never even yeah. thought about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Have a good night. guys well two uh, Lafayette police vehicles just pulled into the Mercedes dealership here next door so we're just gonna uh, take a walk down the sidewalk see what's going on and uh, see how it goes so stand by he just glimpsed us Please don't tell me these guys called the cops on a couple of guys taking pictures of cars. Well, see, that's that's uh, they just wanted to figure out what y'all were doing. It's not y'all not in any trouble. They just called us out oh, to come to talk to y'all and see what y'all are doing. So y'all just taking photos. They actually called you because we're out on the sidewalk taking pictures. Yeah, it's kind of strange. You got to understand, this is a busy intersection. I don't think so. We're taking pictures of cars. What are y'all? They, th they thought they were videoing. Yeah. And Look, we got some we got some weird people come out. They, really? They, yeah, for burglaries and stuff. They'll case the whole area before hitting it. So really? Yeah. So somebody will walk around with a camera like this, looking to case someone. I'm not saying that kind of camera. Usually it's an iPhone. Yeah, I think I don't know. I guess they somebody came out and asked me what we were doing, and I just said to them, I'm just doing what I do. I'm not really interested in explaining myself. No, I understand. Yeah. So I mean, y'all are just filming the cars and stuff. That's it. Yeah, for well, whatever I can see. But yeah. What are y'all making? Like a y'all doing like a like a. Video? Video, video of, uh, or? Well, I've been taking some video, taking some pictures. Yeah. I mean, I never know what I'm going to do with it. Okay. I don't know. All right. But uh, new new camera, new monopod, new iron. Uh, new that, the, the swivel is freaking nice. I'm still trying to get used to it. Yeah. It's a little heavy. Yeah, I bet. All right, well, Just so I know who I spoke to, can I just ask name and badge numbers? My name's Officer Fruge, badge number is 543. Okay. Well, that's Poirier 880. 880. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, uh, yeah, we were down at the Audi dealership too. You might get some phone calls from them. Well, look, like I said, y'all just be careful. Don't go walk in the middle of the roadway or block any vehicles. You know what? Fine. That brings up a good point, if you don't mind me asking. Go ahead. In Louisiana, because we're not from Louisiana, okay. but obviously you could probably tell. Yeah. But uh, what's the deal if there's no crosswalks at the intersections? Are you allowed to just cross in the middle of the road? You're not supposed to. You're supposed to find a crosswalk. Uh, this road is not, the only crosswalk you'll have is gonna be up at that light over there or down at Bertrand, or down at East Bruce Road. Okay. So uh, you're not supposed to, because it is considered like, for example, walking. I was at, uh, where were we? I was at, uh, in town, by the, uh, what was the name of that bank? HP, it's got like an HP on it. 
Oh, uh, across the street from a post office. Okay. Right. So there's no crosswalks in any of those streets, and there's a median. So I'm thinking to myself, even if I walk down to the corner, there's no crosswalk. So do you just cross anywhere? Or? Do you usually try and go to the intersection and wait for a red light and cross because legally there, but if there's no marked crosswalk, you really aren't supposed to cross. If there's no marked so what if there's no marked crosswalk at the intersection? That doesn't matter. As long as you're walking on a red light, you're being safe about it. Don't okay. just run out in front of traffic, obviously. 51 years, I never tried that trip. Well, you got some people that do, and <laughs> I'm sure it don't work that. out too well. Yeah, so, no, I'm sure it wouldn't. So you don't want to damage the equipment, but uh, no. but yeah, uh, just wait for a, a signal to be able to walk across. No, cool. All right, guys. Just stay on the sidewalk. Don't come on that property. Don't. Yeah, because they're oh, closing. No. So they're what? They're closing. Oh, okay. So on the sidewalk, y'all are fine. Uh, that's yeah. We that's actually all... never came on there, Bobby. Yeah, I, they didn't say they did that. Y'all did. Uh, they were just concerned because they didn't understand why. So they actually there. just got my curious mind. They actually are thinking that maybe we're looking to rob the place. I don't know. They just called us out and said that this was. It is kind of suspicious in a sense. You know, it's kind of strange. No, I hate to. You know what? I've been involved with professional photography for 30 years. I went to, uh, to college, actually majored in photography 30 something years ago. And uh, back then, cameras didn't have the stigma they had these days. So I'm just old yeah. school man and I don't get it. Like, I understand. I look. We, just we, you saying, you know, uh, I don't want to tell you what I'm doing. Like if you just said, hey, I'm a professional photographer and I'm just taking photos of the, of the cars, I think they might have been a little bit and better. Look. But they were just. That's none of their business anyway. I completely understand oh, you have a right to your right. privacy and stuff. But down here, everybody is very friendly. And if somebody says, hey, what you doing? You're going to tell them. You know, there's no kind of oh, no gotcha. delay on that. It it's isn't. just the way yeah. down here. Gotcha. Like, so like, so, me, so probably what really stirred them up is me saying I didn't want to explain it. So exactly. Yeah. 100%. I got you. Well, that makes sense. I hear the South's very friendly. Yes, sir. We are. We'll tell you our whole life story in a matter of 10 minutes if you ask. I got time. I don't. We got to go to work. We got to go to work. I got but, you, man. But uh, yeah, y'all just be you. safe. Uh, y'all need anything or have any problems with anything, y'all give us a shout. I appreciate it. All right. So you'll let them know that everything's all cool. Yeah, yeah. If they be still there, we'll go talk to them. But like I said, as long as y'all are on the sidewalk, out of the roadway, not on their property, y'all are good. Not breaking any of the rules? No, sir. All right, cool. All right. Well, we appreciate you guys. Stay all safe. Right, y'all too. Take care. Well, all right, guys, uh, that's going to wrap this one up. Um, you know, he kind of got me on that, like the Southern thing. Like he said, just the people that live around here, what they're accustomed to is somebody asks you a question, you answer it. I kind of believe that on some level, and I'm sure that is the way it is. Um, and, uh, you know, some days you might feel like explaining yourself. Some days you don't. But you should certainly not be obligated to explain what you're doing out in public. Um, and these officers handled it properly. Uh, definitely kudos to them. I give them a pass for sure. Didn't even ask us for ID. Uh, didn't hassle us at all. And, uh, you know, I still, just my own personal self, don't get the whole apprehension and people being afraid that we're going to come back. We're casing the place and we're going to come back and rob it later. Um, I wouldn't think that right away, but I guess I could see how somebody would. So, you know, again, like I always say, let your moral compass be your guide. Um, I would just suggest you don't be paranoid and afraid. And uh, that's about it. If you enjoy our videos, you like what we do, and you want to support what we do, best way for you to do that, hands down, is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more and more people so that more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. Um, I know I'm out here with the Watchmen getting an education every day, um, and it's fantastic. So hopefully you guys are getting a little info from these videos. And uh, we appreciate you uh, stopping by and uh, hanging out with us for a little bit. I also invite you to do the same for watching the Watchman's channel, if you're so inclined. Um, he uh, is doing fantastic. You'll see stuff in his videos that you won't see here. Uh, maps, information, um, his point of view, his commentary. A lot of people ask why he doesn't talk much. This is my channel. You got to go watch his channel uh, if you want to listen to his narrative and his uh, watch things from his perspective. So I will leave a link in the description so you can do that if you're so inclined. And uh, that's it. So that's going to wrap it up. End of the day, we're going to uh, go home, get a shower, get something to eat, and be back at it tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday. So coming to you from Mercedes-Benz of Lafayette in Lafayette, Louisiana, watching a watchman, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.